What up Salty Crew and welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi, my name's Nicole and you might recognize me from my other menstrual cup videos. I talk about the pros and cons of using one and I also talk about how to insert and remove it. Now in case you don't already know, I'm a menstrual cup enthusiast. I love them. It has actually set me free from my period. I forget that I'm even on it when I'm wearing one and I love helping other women figure out how to use it and if you're a first time user here or if you've been using a menstrual cup for a while this video is for you because I'm going over how to clean it. I get a lot of questions about how to do this, how to clean it in a public restroom, how to get stains out of it. So we're gonna go over all of that today so if that interests you then just keep on watching. So I do actually clean my menstrual cup while I'm on my period. I clean it in between every time I empty it out and when I put it back in. So what I do is when it's time to empty it out, I sit on the toilet, I take it out, I dump all of the blood in the toilet and then I go to the sink and I rinse it with cold water and soap. So the reason why I clean it with cold water to start is because it will prevent any stains from forming on it. Now if you have a clear cup or a lighter color cup, then stains are obviously gonna show up easier. I luckily have this pink one, so it's not that big of a deal. So if you wanna prevent stains, make sure that you wash it with cold water and soap to start, and then once all the blood is out, you can switch over to warm or hot water. Once my period is over, I clean it like I normally would with soap and water, and then I sanitize it. Now, there are a couple different ways that you can do this. You can take a small kitchen pot, fill it up with water, bring it to a boil, and then boil your cup for 20 full minutes, and that will sanitize it completely and then you can take it out let it air dry and cool and store it in your little baggie like you normally would or you can use a menstrual cup steamer that's right those exist I really love this one it's from by the girl and it steams your menstrual cup in three minutes it's so great it's really easy to use it's compact so you can fit it anywhere it can go in your kitchen in your bathroom wherever you want and it's Cute, look at it. All you have to do to use this is fill up the base with five milliliters of water, put your cup in there, close it, press the button in the front, and it will steam your menstrual cup for three minutes and it will automatically release so you don't have to worry about like setting a timer or for it going on for too long. You're good to go, just set it and forget it. But yeah, I really like this one because it's easy to use, it's compact, it sterilizes your cup in three minutes, which is amazing. And you don't have to worry about boiling pasta in the same pot that you boil your menstrual cup in, so. That's a bonus. So if you wanna try out the steamer, I have a coupon code for $20 off. All you have to do is click the link down in the description box and use the code more salt please and you are good to go. Another question I get asked a lot is how to clean your cup in a public restroom. So it's really easy, all you need is a water bottle. So you go into the stall, you take your cup, and then you have your water bottle full of water and you hold your menstrual cup over the toilet and dump some of the water from the water bottle on your menstrual cup to rinse it off. And then I dry it off with some toilet paper or if you have a towel with you, clothes, whatever, just give it a good shake. And then when you get home, you can properly clean it with soap and water. But this is a good uh, technique to use if you're out in public and you don't wanna go to the sink where everyone washes their hands and just wash off your bloody cup. No one wants that. And if you notice that the little holes on the side of your cup are getting a little clogged and stained, you can actually take an old toothbrush and scrub those out with some soap and water to get the little stains out of there. And if your cup is really stained and you wanna clean it, make it look brand new, you can actually soak it overnight in white vinegar or hydrogen peroxide and then let it air dry on a towel. And actually letting it air dry in the sun will help the stains go away as well. So once your cup is nice and clean and dry, you can store it in a breathable cotton bag. Or of course, you can store it in the bag that it comes in. This is the bag from the Lunette Cup. It's the cup that I use, I love it. I just the shape of it and the size of it. If you want to check it out for yourself and buy it, I'll leave the link down in the description box. And then of course, don't forget about this cute little menstrual cup steamer from By The Girl. You can get $20 off by using the code more salt, please. I really hope you guys found this video valuable and helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up because it helps more people see it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you part of the Salty Crew family. Don't forget to take care of yourself this week eat good food, and clean yo cup. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!
for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five. 